Hello everyone once again. Uh, this is MCLOF1 and today I'm going to show you something I'm super super excited about. Though I realize it doesn't look the best from this specific angle. There we go. This is my um, Storm Geschutz 3 or Dry. Um, this is based on the Ausführung G or version G of that vehicle. This is one of the most produced armored German vehicles during World War II. Now, I made this a long time ago, if you can really say that, but it was a very different version. It was not very good. I didn't take any before footage, but it is in one of my old videos. Um, so this is extremely extremely heavily updated I basically tore the entire thing down and built it back up again and uh, I really really like it so I'm gonna show it off to you now um, as you can see it's got a pretty low profile um, as it should my original version was quite a bit taller and more awkward looking um, I really, really like the detail that I have put into this. 90 plus percent of this is just all new. I really specifically want to show off the back because I put a lot of work into making that look really nice. So, um, the vehicle itself, um, has some kind of wire fencing around the back section. Um, and in there it holds extra wheels and tools and extra tread and stuff like that. So, so I've represented all of that stuff here, um, which I think looks pretty nice. The extra tread is courtesy of the Tiger 131 uh, Quan Guan model, which I reviewed recently. The Tiger 131. So you can look at that video if you want. Um, this whole thing lifts up. Here's a sort of engine compartment. Let's see if I can get it to catch the light a little better. So yeah, and it fits very nice and snugly. Like so. Um, these wheels here um, are going to offend the Lego purists. These are actually Best Lock brand. Because I had a bunch of these, because every best lock tread, tank tread I've ever had has broken. Um, so I had a bunch of these wheels and no good use for them. Uh, now they don't actually fit this tread because no wheels other than these ones actually do. Um, so it's just for aesthetics, but I had a bunch of them. They don't look terrible. And they're about the right size. Now there should be six here this was going to be accurate to real life, uh, obviously I could not fit six. In fact, to get this tread to where it is, I actually had to physically stretch it, um, elongate it plastically, not elastically. So I actually had to change the shape of it slightly to get it to fit, but it worked and it did not break, thank goodness. Um, so if we take a look that, uh, so the, there's really no separate turret from the chassis. It's really a portable artillery gun on wheels. So that's accurate to real life. This thing does not move. The gun does move up and down. No declination. Uh, wasn't possible with the design that I went with, but it's got some good inclination on it. Um, a couple of hatches placed where they roughly should be. Um, one there and one here. And this one's round, this one's square, that is also modeled off of the real thing. Uh, 
just to show this off more, there's this couple of bricks sticking out here. That's a real detail. If you want to see the very front of it, there it is. So, I really like this thing. I spent a bunch of time getting it the way that I wanted, and I think it paid off. I'm actually going to put... I'll put Johan in here as our model once again. Um, unfortunately, no other features, but I um, I just very much like the look of this thing. I honestly think this is one of the one of my best originals. Um, and I'm very proud of it, so I wanted to show it off. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed this as well. So, thank you for watching. My next video should be, I believe, a German army video, which I promised about eight or nine years ago and never got around to. Uh, and then I'm hopefully going to do an American army video showcasing all of my American World War II stuff as well. So, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.